Hello everybody, it's Burn Bill, and tonight, a very special episode. It's one of my favorite distilleries coming out with another high-aged hitter. It's Hardens Creek, Jacob's Well, batch number two, 2024 release? Late 23 release? Oh, I, I could not be more excited for this bottle. Uh, release Jacob's Well, batch one, in 2022. This is all 2022. Jacob's Well, batch one was 108 proof and a 15 year bourbon. It was quite delicious. I didn't get a bottle, but my good uh, friend and supporter of the channel, Oshin Hayes, sent me a sample and I quite enjoyed it. I don't think I ever officially reviewed it, but it was very good. Very good. Loved it. 15 year 108 proof beam. It's what Knob Creek 15 wanted to be, right? 8 proof points higher and it was 8 proof points better. And I love Knob Creek 15. So, there you go. And, you know, then 2023 came around and like the trio was released. The trio being... Boston, Claremont, and Frankfurt, Hardens Creek. Now, I did a video of these three. I'll, I'll link it above. These three were special because this was like a terroir project or rickhouse project, if you will. All three were 17-year, 110-proof Jim Beams. Killer, killer. All three were killer. Um, and each one was named after a certain rickhouse location. So the kind of the cool thing was to say we can taste each one and see what you know the terrain and the humidity and the construction materials of that warehouse impact the whiskey and it was cool it was cool and the reason some of these are so small is not because beam sends me sample bottles because they don't no one no distillery sends me samples not one so i'm not biased in any way i got nothing to lose because i got they don't give me anything i got nothing um they released a sample pack that had these three in it and i obviously I had a bottle of Frankfurt that I drank down, so I just dumped the bottle into the bigger one to, to save shelf space, of course. But anyway, um, if you didn't watch that video on three of those, go watch it. Like I said, I, I've already linked it above. But my favorite of those three was the Frankfurt. Now, here's a spoiler. If you have not watched my top 10 bourbons of the year, take a pause on this video and please go watch that before we continue. This is a spoiler now. We ready? We all, we all? Okay. This won bourbon of the year for me. Quite a shock that Frankfurt. I actually thought Russell's Reserve 13 would win. I thought, and there's a lot that I thought might win, but this sucker snuck in the blinds and dominated. Just took him by the neck and strangled him. That's how a domination it was. And this was the Frankfurt. This is my favorite. Like I said, some people prefer the Boston. I think Jason from Mash and Drum preferred the Claremont. It really was, you know, palate dependent, but all three were phenomenal. And that brings us to Jacob's Well Batch 2, which I saw some people get at the, like, the tail end of 2023, like the very last days, but I didn't get till 2024, so I could not include it in my top 10 of 2023, but it will compete in the top 10 of 2024. And... Got big shoes to fill with the Frankfurt winning that whole thing. This sucker here is 211 months aged. I kind of hate how they do that because now I got to do math. 211 divided by 12 equals 17.58 years. Over 17 and a half, 17.6 years old this bastard is. All right, we, 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 we rounded up, okay? 109 proof compute compute 54.5 percent alcohol by volume so one proof point less than the trio from 2023 but one proof point more than jacob's well batch one so you're welcome now one thing i noticed uh, upon getting this uh thanks again joe gate for the assist on this one is i don't know if you can tell it, it might be really hard to tell the color difference Okay, this is the Frankfurt. This is the Jacob's Well Batch 2. It's darker. It's darker. It's only 0.6 years older and one proof point less. 
So they did something different on these on these barrels. Now we get a fun neck tag here, which has a bunch of crap in it, which we're not going to read. But the most important part here is a blend of two ultra-aged expressions. One regular mash, the other a high rye. Oh, so this is two different mash bills, whereas these were not the other Hardin's Creeks. Let's give it a nosing. Good Lord, heaven help me, this smells fucking phenomenal. Oh, oh, oh my God. Um, where, this is one of the best bourbons I've ever smelled. It is, I, oh my God, this definitely is gonna beat the Frankfurt, I bet. This is a wall, and I mean a wall of sweet oak. A vanilla, like, like a vanilla candy, okay? And then there's this like, there's something else here, okay, it smells phenomenal. It's almost like a, it's almost like a raisin orange. I know it's not a thing, but like it's like a raisin orange note behind oak and vanilla. Let's take a sip. Good, good God. Oh my God. Oh. I'm almost speechless. That's how good this is. This is phenomenal whiskey. Okay. A plus 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 rating on Bourbon Bill. Absolute buy for the low MSRP of about 175 doll hairs. Okay. $10 a year, Beam is still providing this delicious juice to you. I would say there's almost nothing uh, at that price point or below that's, that's as good as this. I would, almost nothing. I'm, I'm drawing a blank on what I would even put above it at the moment. Not a lot. Everything everything that, that I might put above it's more expensive. This is killer. Uh, so, so I'm sorry, I didn't even get any tasting notes. Palette is super complex, super deep, dark, and rich, and delicious. And it's pretty varied. I mean, we say complex, but like we start out with like a wall of sweet oak. There's caramel. There's brown sugar. There's like a raisin note, and then there's like a vanilla toasted marshmallow note, and then an orange note. So it's like it's like fruity, but not fruit cocktailish, if that makes sense to you. Absolutely phenomenal. You you should 100% buy this. I I mean this is. <laughs> This would give some bourbons probably twice the price or run for its money. Wow. Beam, you've been holding out on us. Oh, you bastards. You've been holding out on That is phenomenal. All right, so let's compare that to my favorite, the Frankfurt from last year. And we'll put the Frankfurt in the gold because, you know, it won 2023 Bourbon of the Year. Same bottle, by the way. Same bottle shape, same, you know, leather tag on the neck. Very classy, I must say. Oh, man, that Frankfurt's so good. I mean, obviously why I want, right? We're getting leather, caramel, oak. Also some vanilla here on the nose, but the jig is well batched, too. Is a better oh you know what there's leather in here now in the jig as well batch too now that I the nose is better on the on the Jacob's well uh, batch too let's take a sip man the Frankfurt's so good I mean just brown sugar oak caramel leather tobacco like a sweet tobacco note very good but you know what it's not as good as this Jacob's well. Uh, batch two. Jig as well batch two drinks like it's a hundred dollars more than the Frankfurt. That's how that's how good it is. It's just it's an extra layer of flavor. It's it's more complex, it's got more going on. Wow. And remember, you want the batch two, which doesn't say batch two anywhere on here, but you need but you need to look for the 109 proof and the 211 months aged and that would signify batch two since batch one of jacob's well was only 15 years so less in terms of months and was 108 proof so keep that in mind when you're looking for these it's shocking to me the difference that that two mash blend makes and like 0.6 years more now i'm like what's a 20 year 
Like, when are they doing a 20 year? If you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. But wait, before we leave you, one last small comparison. Knob Creek 18. So listen, Knob Creek 18 to me was very close to the Frankfurt, but lost out. Now this is batch one, this is from 2022. Batch two, which was 2023's Knob Creek 18, was not as good to me as batch one, just me. Um, so I didn't buy it, and obviously it wasn't in my top 10 bourbons of the year, but batch one compared to the Hardens Creeks, I think this was better than the Claremont and the Boston for me, but the Frankfurt beat it up because of the complexity of flavors. So I don't think it's gonna be as good as the Jacob's Well batch two, but let's give it a try anyway. So because it's older, okay? It is 100 proof, compute, compute 50% alcohol by volume, price 165, $165 hairs for this. So it is a little bit cheaper, right? Let's give it a nosing. Gosh, this is all leather, tobacco, and orange peel. And oak, a lot of oak on this. But compared to the Jacob's Well, the Jacob's Well is still a better nose. And it, it's, oh man, the Jacob's Well. This gives a little more depth of flavor. And it's, 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 it's got more, it's got like the fruit, it's, it's got more vanilla, it's got more going on in the nose on the Jacob's Well. But this is still a phenomenal nose on the Knob Creek 18. Let's take a sip. Man, that Knob Creek 18 is delicious. It's all orange oak. Just a wall of oak and orange. Good finish. It's very good. I, I, I really dig it. It's just not as complex as the Jacob's Well Badge 2 or the Frankfurt. So yes, now Creek 18 might be a tad older. It is a little bit less expensive. Still a good buy. I still would uh, debt Batch 1 over Batch 2 though. Uh, for me, on the now Creek 18. As you can tell, I quite enjoyed this bottle. Um... Dang, if this Jacob's Well Batch 2 isn't the best I've ever had from Beam. That is the best bottle I have ever had from Jim Beam right here. Whew, I'm blown away. Definitely a top five contender for 2024. I'm calling it this early, like two weeks into 2024. I'm calling it this making top five for 2024. If you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Have a good evening, everybody.